Mr. President, Singapore is fully committed to achieving a successful account outcome for COP24. The recent IPCC special report on 1.5 degrees Celsius has warned that the global warming threshold may be breached as early as 2030. Clearly, we need urgent, collective and coordinated efforts by all. Success at COP24 will be measured according to the following. First, we must conclude a credible, durable and pragmatic set of guidance to operationalize the Paris Agreement. The Katowice rulebook must be an enabler of action. Second, the Katowice outcome needs to drive urgent climate action by all. Connected to this, the Talanoa Dialogue must send a strong message to parties to push the envelope on climate efforts. Third, COP24 must deliver a package of decisions to support the implementation of the Paris Agreement by all. We must ensure adequate support for developing countries, particularly seats and least developing countries, to implement the guidance. Singapore is fully committed to supporting global action on climate change. We have submitted an ambitious but challenging NDC. Indeed, as part of our plans, Singapore will be implementing an economy-wide carbon tax in 2019, the first country in Southeast Asia to do so. To governize ground up action, Singapore designated 2018 as the year of climate action. Over the year, we have received over 300 climate pledges from all stakeholders. We are also taking steps to protect ourselves against the adverse effects of climate change. Our adaptation efforts include commissioning the Stamford Detention Tank, an enormous underground tank, the size of 15 swimming pools, 10 storey deep underground, to address the frequent flooding of Orchard Road, our commercial district. As the chair of ASEAN, Singapore has worked to make climate change a priority. At the 33rd ASEAN Summit, ASEAN leaders adopted the ASEAN Joint Statement on Climate Change. Singapore also convened the Special ASEAN Ministerial Meeting on Climate Action, SAMCA, and expanded SAMCA in July to step up regional, regional action to address climate change. ASEAN is making progress. It has exceeded its energy efficiency target reducing energy intensity by more than 20% in 2016 compared to 2005, well ahead of its 2020 target. Ladies and gentlemen, Singapore is a keen advocate of a multilateral, rule-based approach to addressing climate change. Singapore is also doing our part to support fellow developing countries. For this, Singapore launched a climate action package in July to help fellow developing countries build capacity. Mr. President, the Paris Agreement was a hard-fought agreement. We must leave Katowice with a credible, durable and pragmatic rulebook that enables all parties to implement the Paris Agreement in good faith. Thank you, Mr. President.